Some late game heroics by Doug Baldwin and Jared Goff landed us the win in week two. Let's see what we can do against the 49ers in week three. Yo, what's going on guys? Danger's back with another franchise video. If you guys did not check out the last episode, be sure to go check that out. It's definitely a good one. And uh, in week three, going against the 49ers. So if we can pull out a dub, man. So that's not a good start. Starting from the two-yard line. Trying to get out of here. Hopefully Latavius Murray can get us some yards right here. Breaking tackles. Let's get it. Now, if you guys have watched the first two episodes, you know we do two-minute quarters here. So every play counts. So we're looking for Doug Baldwin possibly deep here as we see nobody. We do see, who is that? Terrence Williams getting open across the middle. Out of boy, Terrence. Also, just so you guys know, the Niners drafted an 83 overall team as we reach the end of the first quarter. I know for anybody just coming to the series or just seeing this video, why do you make it two quarters? This is just a mini series along everything else. This isn't supposed to be a big series that we do. It's just fun, so we do too many quarters. It's Terrence Williams making another nice catch, almost down to midfield. But yeah, as I was saying, just it's a mini series just to go as my fucking other video is done uploading. That was very unprofessional. I have that point in the background, but uh, yeah, it's just a mini series along everything else. So it's not supposed to be anything crazy. Didn't want to make these games, you know, really fucking long. So I made them two minutes, and they actually end up being really good games that way. As Latavius Murray making plays down the field. Let's go, Latavius. So Latavius Murray puts us in good position on that screenplay. As we actually, I accidentally ran. Hurry up. It was on accident. But uh, I'm not really sure who we're looking for right here. As we see Terrence. Oh, that ball was overthrown. Oh, goddamn. If you guys have watched the first two episodes, you know I've been having trouble with Jared Goff. But last game, we were able to finally start cooking with him late in the game. So I decided to stick with him. Hopefully he does some work. Because we're looking for our big target in Gronkowski over the middle. And we do end up getting the first down with a minute and 20 left. I am going to run hurry up and see if possibly we can hit the end zone right here. Doug Baldwin making a nice play. Who knows? Let's see. John Brown going on an out route as well. As we see Doug Baldwin wide open. Oh, my God. We fumbled too. Fuck. Fourth and eight. Going to try to kick the field goal here. Hopefully we can fucking make this. I don't I don't know, man. Fuck. It's, uh, it's not a gimme here, especially in the fucking rain. I don't think we can make this. You know what? I think we're better off just going for it. So I do not trust myself trying to make that field goal. So we're going to end up trying to trying to get on fourth down here as I want to see if fucking Doug Baldwin can free up as he does. Doug Baldwin making the catch and gets big hit by Eric Reed out there. That's ironic. The Niners drafted Eric Reed, but a big hit makes Doug Baldwin drop the ball in a wide open pass. And we turn over the ball on downs. So the Niners got nothing. We still have 55 seconds left in the half. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Sending heavy pressure right here. Just try to dump it off. We'll take That was a dumb pass. I should have just threw that one away. Now we got wasted clock. Shit. Let's just run hurry up and play action. Maybe John Brown could be somebody down the field. You know that, that fucking speed that he has. Maybe he could be somebody deep. Let's see. If not, we have a dump off in the middle of the field. I did not see that linebacker. So this is kind of a funky play as Deion Lewis comes in on third and nine. But we're looking for just anybody. You see Gronk wide open in the flats. Going to get the first and get out of bounds with 28 seconds left. Some very unique plays out of this fucking formation. Uh, looking for Terrence Williams, I think. No, we see. Oh, shit. I didn't see the safety. Oh, he almost makes the catch anyway and he gets picked off. Oh, my God. Bounces off John Brown. That, that, those physics don't even fucking work. It bounces off his helmet and gets picked off. It looks like Adrian Wilson. I don't even know how we ended up getting the ball back before half. I swear to God, when you set the quarters to low-ass times, they, like, they get rid of the ball in, like, fucking seconds. I don't even know who we're looking for. I guess Doug Baldwin deep. Let's see. Can he make the catch? No, he cannot. Since the computer doesn't come out and man up three deep until we come out in Hail Mary, we still have a chance. I think John Brown just beat that guy deep. And, of course, fucking Jared Goff misses the throw. If he could have put that on point, we may have actually had a touchdown. Into the second half now on the kickoff. We'll see if John Brown can get something done. So we're hitting the outside. Get out to the 25-yard line. Super tight game right now is 0-0. Very boring. We see John Brown freeing up all that speed. That speed beat him down the sideline. Let's go, John Brown. Come on, beat him all the way down. Beat him all the way down. We get caught at the 19-yard line. Big game by John Brownland. Put us in the red zone in a definite scoring position. 
Now you may think or may look back and be like, dude, you should have taken that field goal. I wouldn't have made that field goal, that thing. I couldn't even tell where the fuck that thing was going, to be honest with you guys. So we're trying to run away, and we do. Jared Goff, oh shit, get out of bounds. Oh god, Jared Goff, I think has fumbled a couple of times, so I do not trust him taking a hit, especially in the rain. Why not go back to the play that got us here? The fucking corner routes. Let's see if Doug Baldwin or just somebody can get open. I see Doug freeing up and Jared Goff misses the throw. That was probably my fault. I didn't wait until Doug actually made the cut. I'm going to go back to that play, though. I still feel like it'll work. Let's just go right back to it. Let's go right back to it. Maybe John Brown with that speed. Let's have Terrence Williams going over the middle just so we have a dump off. Let's block Murray and Gronkowski. These are pretty much our only reads. Gonna try to force that one in there, and it's almost picked off. We might be able to get the field goal from here. I don't know. Let's see. How far is this? It's a 29-yarder. Yarder. We should be able to make this. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, did we make that? No, we missed. What? It didn't show that it was fucking... That doesn't, even make, that doesn't make sense. Seriously, that's bullshit. Niners still haven't scored, but that is bullshit. That did not show that it was gonna fucking go that far left. That, that's ridiculous. So, still 0-0, no score, as we're looking for somebody down the field. We see Terrence Williams making a nice catch right there, trying to truck, but there was nobody to truck. <laughs> Getting down almost the midfield. That's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. I'm going to let it run out. All right, we're into the fourth quarter now, and it's already two minutes left, of course. So, <laughs> I don't even know what we're really looking for here. Uh, shit, Latavius Murray? No, that was a bad read. That was a really bad read. I don't know why I thought that I could get some yards after throwing that all the way across my body like that. You know what? A screenplay worked um, before with Latavius Murray. Let's see if he can do it again. Latavius Murray. Let's see if we can even get the screenplay. Looks like we can if they can make that block. Because we're cutting it back inside. Latavius Murray, one guy away from at least getting a lot more yards or possibly a touchdown right there. A minute and 30 seconds left. I want to go to the end zone. I do. I want to go to the end zone. Let's see. Just Doug Baldwin. I've been searching for you all game. After your clutchness last game, I've been looking for you, man. We're just going to chuck it. Doug Baldwin. Oh, it drops it again. Damn. Two plays where I think Doug Baldwin is going to catch the ball. He drops it at the last second. I'm going to block Latavius Murray and these guys again. Give me maximum time. Oh, John Brown makes that catch. Let's go, man. Sky up. Minute and nine left. The San Francisco 49ers have started to call timeout. So they're, they're worried. They're worried our offense is going to score right here. So we're looking for somebody down the field. If you see nobody, going to chuck it up. Oh, that was bad. I thought that I could get that up the field. Um, Jared Goff threw it to that nowhere up the field. See, my plan was when Terrence Williams, I mean, I was obviously not planning to have pressure in my face, but nah, what? it doesn't even matter now. Doug Baldwin one-on-one -on -one over there, though. Doug Baldwin, one-on-one, -on -one. he beat him. Doug Baldwin for the touchdown, second game of the row, last second finish. Doug Baldwin makes the play when he needs to, and that puts us up by possibly seven. We do get seven points. Let's see if they score here. They do not, and we're going to end up getting the dub in week three. Let's get it. Doug Baldwin coming up clutch again in last second finish. All right, guys, so this is going to be the final play as we're going to walk out of here with a W as Dion Lewis runs it out we win seven nothing on a last second finish under a minute left in the game a defense held the Niners to no points Doug Baldwin comes up with the game winning catch again Jared Goff let's go ahead and check out the stats as we always do at the end of the game who 12 for 22 it really good game for Goff to be honest with you guys 216 54 completion percentage one TD one pick the pick was kind of bullshit because it bounced off John Brown's side you can't really control those and uh, rushing, we really didn't have much rushing. We had negative seven and then two for seven. We can't really run the ball or else the game would go by insanely quick. So um, moving on to receiving, Terrence Williams actually led us in receiving with 70. John Brown was 67. And then Doug only had one for 21 um, for a touchdown, of course, that ended up winning us the game. But I targeted him like fucking five or six times this game. So that's pretty crazy. Let's see if uh, defense came up with anything clutch. Um, leading tackler was four people tied with three, obviously with two minute quarters. They're not going to get many tackles, but we had one sacks with Akeem Hicks. We had an interception by Ray Malaluga that definitely helped. And that looks like they just stopped him the rest of the time. So that's pretty awesome. And, uh, Jared Goff 
killed it, I would say. I mean, he did really good. I felt comfortable with him. He actually played better. This is probably the best game he had compared to all of his other ones. And this one was in the fucking rain. And, uh, you know, firing dots all game, to be honest with you guys. So that was an awesome game. Quick game. You know, that's the whole point of this series. It's just a mini series alongside everything else. But let me go. Let me know if you guys are enjoying it. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more. Probably continue the series just along everything else, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, Dangerous Army, I'm out. Don't be like a hell cat.